Today we're celebrating a real unsung hero of the kitchen. It's parchment paper. Adam's here, he's gonna tell us all about it and which one is best. I like the thought of me as the unsung hero, Bridget. I think about you all the time. <laughs> oh, not thank real. you very much. <laughs> all right, what I would like you to do to start is just tear off a nice, neat piece of parchment paper from that roll all to right. line that baking sheet. All right, because that's what you use it for, That's right? what you have to do. You want it nice and neat. Yeah. <laughs> and therein lies the rub. Real that's problem. the problem with a lot of parchment products for home use. We tested 10 different parchment products. Seven of them were in rolls, mm -hmm. just like plastic wrap or foil. Sure. Three of them were pre-cut sheets. We did a whole lot of baking to test these things, including baking pumpkin jelly roll cakes, thin, crisp gingerbread cookies to assess their release in the browning, as well as pisala jer, which is that anchovy and caramelized onion pizza in a 500 degree oven to assess scorching and brittleness. More tests covered handling, rolling disks of cookie dough between parchment sheets and using parchment sheets to tightly roll a baked jelly roll cake both to assess sticking and wrinkling, and using the parchment paper to line tart shells, filling them with heavy pie weights for blind baking, and then lifting the paper with the pie weights to carry them around the kitchen to assess the strength and the durability. And they conducted some at-home testing with volunteers who used the parchment to bake chocolate chip cookies and also stored the rolls and the sheets in their home kitchen cabinets and drawers. So you're saying not a lot of testing. Not a lot of <laughs> testing on this one. Well, right. it's cookies, Bridget. Exactly. We have to make as many cookies as possible. All of these parchment products performed well on the baking test. So really what distinguished them was the ease of use. Mm -hmm. And that got down to two things. Number one was size. The standard baking sheet that you have there, the rimmed half sheet, is 12 inches wide. Only one of these rolls of seven was 12 inches wide. You'd think that would be the default size. Wouldn't you? Yes. All the others were 13 to 15 inches wide, so if you managed to tear off a sheet neatly, you then had to trim it to fit into a half sheet pan. Non-starter. Now the other problem came with the packaging, and that is, tearing off sheets neatly, just like the one that you were trying to do at the right. top of the segment. I mean, this box didn't even have a proper cutting edge, and the box was so flimsy that by the end of the testing, it was all stretched out and misshapen. Trying to get a nice, neat piece of parchment out of this roll was like an act of futility. The three pre-cut sheets were a little bit better, but they also had some packaging issues. This one, they're all folded inside of the box, but you can see, when I put this down, look at those deep creases. Yes. The creases were distinct even when we tried to flatten them out, and when testers rolled cookie dough in these pieces of parchment, those creases imprinted the dough with lines. These were rolled up inside of their box, which is great, but they were sort of resistant to flattening out. Like, they were really hard to flatten sure. out. Sure. No, I've actually baked goods where the edge curls back up into the cookie or the cake that I'm making. Not good. Very irritating. Yeah. The third set of pre-cut sheets were the runaway winner of this testing. These are the King Arthur Flowers Baking Parchment Paper Half Sheets. They were $19.95 for this bag of 100, plus you have to pay for the shipping. They come in this big zipper lock bag so that they're not rolled up, mm -hmm. they're not folded, you can store them flat. Now, you know, it's a large package so you have to find an empty drawer, maybe the top of the fridge. But I'll tell you, these things perform beautifully. They were sized to fit into a baking sheet with no trimming. You never had to worry about any of the like cutting nonsense. It's as close to commercial parchment as you can get. Exactly, Well, exactly. there you go. Well, if you fancy yourself as a little bit of a Sir Bakes a Lot, you're going to need King Arthur Flowers Baking Parchment Paper. $19.95 will buy you 100 pre cut sheets. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.